Good morning and happy Friday. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Well, we're starting off with an update this morning on Wednesday evening's pursuit that ended in Northern Platte County with two people taken into custody. St. Joseph police confirm that 30 year old Cordell Mondane and 19 year old Saley Wilfong were arrested after a pursuit that ended two miles south of Route Z near Camden Point. According to court documents, Mondane reached speeds of over 100 miles per hour during the pursuit. The probable cause statement shows that Mondane told law enforcement he didn't stop because he was high on ecstasy. The statement adds that Wilfong told law enforcement that she was not shooting to kill. Mondane faces felony charges of unlawful use of a weapon, unlawful possession of a firearm, and resisting arrest, while Wilfong faces a felony count of unlawful use of a weapon. Both are set to appear in court on Monday. And the Northwest Missouri Coalition for Roadway Safety recently has recognized six counties with zero roadway fatalities last year. Show Me Zero awards were presented to Atchison, Caldwell, Carroll, Grundy, Mercer, and Sullivan counties. In a news release, Coalition Chairperson Jenna Keyes recognized area law enforcement, emergency responders, and leaders and educators who chose to highlight safe driving behaviors. And switching gears a little, the Clay County Sheriff's Office has identified that pilot of a deadly plane crash near Kearney early Wednesday. The department says 79-year-old Alan Moeller was flying the plane. Sheriff's officials say shortly before 10 a.m., an aircraft crashed into a field near Northeast 150th Street and Cordell Road just east of Kearney. Authorities on the scene say that plane was taking off from the airstrip in Mosby when it collided with a power transmission line. It went down in a nearby bean field and caught fire. Authorities say Moeller was the only occupant of the plane. 